Remember the ice bucket challenge? I mean, that was at least for good reason. This doesn't seem to be for any good reason other than this thrill of destroying your school property. And here at Hart High School, along with schools all over the nation, they're doing things like pouring soap all over the ground for kids to slip or stealing fire extinguishers. And unfortunately, that's only the beginning. It's called a devious lick, a TikTok trend wrecking havoc at high schools around the nation. The trend began on September 6th when a TikToker posted a video pulling a hand sanitizer dispenser from a backpack alongside the text only a month into school and got this absolute devious lick as if celebrating school's return with the steal. The trend with highlights in this viral video is mostly focused on students stealing random things out of their school bathroom and bragging about it in short clips on the social media platform. I guess you get that, that adrenaline to steal stuff. Like the soap and paper towel dispensers, these urinal screens, the bathroom mirror, stall door lock, stall door, I don't know how they snuck out with that, the guy's shoe in the next stall over, perhaps staged, and yes, even the toilet. Pretty boy, Seeing people just steal soap dispensers, hand sanitizer dispensers. I thought that was hilarious. But the schools don't think it's so funny. Some across the country have locked up the soap and instructed kids to wear clear backpacks. They think it's funny, but it's actually kind of stupid because most of them have gotten suspended or... And also they're closing our bathrooms. So it's kind of annoying that we can't use the restroom when we want to. It's gotten so bad at Hart High School in Santa Clarita, the principal has suspended many students and sent parents this letter Tuesday asking them to please talk to their children. Some of them are fun, but some go way too far. At other schools around the nation, kids trying to win the trend have seemingly gotten away with security cameras, the fire alarm, water fountain, microscope, vending machine, even the poor class pet. But when it comes to the restrooms, some at Heart High say they have an idea that for teenagers just might work. I hope they stop because I heard they're going to put porta potties mm -hmm. if they don't. We don't want to be those schools that have bathrooms that are locked. So it'd be really sad if you lost our bathroom privileges. Here at Hart and schools around the nation, they are having to close a lot of the bathrooms except for one or two of them because they have to clean them and replace missing items like soap and toilet seats. Really makes you feel for the custodians and the staff that have to clean it up. Now, administrators are going around Hart this week talking to the students about this and the districts asking parents to please talk to their kids at home as well about making better decisions.